When I was a kid, the presenter of the children's show, Blue Peter, filled a time capsule with things and buried it in the ground that it wasn't to be opened till the year 2000. Can you remember that? And what I'm going to talk about in this video is making my very own personal version of a time capsule to be opened at a future date. I've recently watched a few videos on YouTube where people now in their 40s have dug up time capsules they'd buried 25 years earlier, and it strikes me this could be something fun to do at any age. I'm in my early 60s and think that all going well, I should still be here in 15 or 20 years. So it's something I could be around to open, so it's not too late. And even if it was, it would be something my children could look back on. Just imagine you were going to do one. What would you put in it? Would you bury it? Or would you keep it somewhere at home where you're not likely to see it every day? Most importantly, what would you put in it and who would it be for? In this day and age with so much stuff being stored digitally, what would you put in that box? What would you store in there? Would it be a hard drive or a memory stick? You could put loads of things on them. Or would you stick to putting physical things into a container? That would be my choice. There are so many things you could put in it. How about we think about doing a short term one, you and me? Let's say a 10 year time capsule so that in 2033 we could look back to 2023 and see where we were. Let's suppose you're going to do one that could be opened with your family in 10 years. First of all, you'd need a container. Is it going to be buried or are you going to keep it inside the house? If it's going to be buried, you need to make sure it's contents to weatherproof. Think about the people who are going to be opening it. If it's to be a personal one, you don't have to worry about that because you're only thinking about yourself. But maybe it could be one that you'd share with your whole family. Once you've decided, you need to make a list of the possible items that you're going to put in it. Think of things that will be interesting, say, 10 years time. If you think how this world has changed over the last 10 years, you can see how things that you could put in it now could be obsolete by then, and therefore really interesting to see. A newspaper of the day could be a good bet, along with family photos. And don't forget to write yourself a letter from now to then. You could put things in it like wedding invitations or a price of everyday foods. Think of the things that you do for leisure now. Perhaps you could include some of them to remind you. Your imagination can be limitless. Don't forget, if you're going to bury it underground, all the items will need to be wrapped in plastic just to keep them safe inside the capsule. Once you've assembled your items and packed them into the time capsule, it's time to decide where you're going to bury it. You need to take into account that wherever you bury it is going to need to be accessible in 10 years time. If you're sure that you or a family member will be where you are right now, your back garden will suffice. If not, you're going to need to bury it on land that's open to the public. Because you don't want to bury it on private land and then get into trouble for digging it up 10 years later. As I said earlier, you'll need to ensure that the capsule is weatherproof so that it can survive that time underground. Keeping them indoors is a safer alternative However, it's more tempting to open the time capsule earlier, if you do. If you do choose to bury the time capsule, be sure to mark the ground so you know where it was in the future and you can easily find it. Mark on that time capsule the date it can be opened. And then you'll need to record its location where it's buried and the opening date, just in case you're sadly not around to see it yourself. And pass on that information to the people you'd want to be there when you open it. Once you've done that, the time capsule can be buried or packed away where you've chosen. All you need to do then is wait. Let me know down below some of the items you'd put in yours. And if you click out there, I'll tell you what my favorite photo is. Because after all, it's probably something I would put in my time capsule.